if we don't start taking better care of our health care system, it's only going to get worse. We're going to change the order that we normally do things here. We're going to hear first from Dr. Jim King of the American Academy of Family Physicians and Dr. Joe Stubbs, who I've already indicated he is an internist. Dr. King, Dr. Stubbs. Thank you, Senator Reed, and thank you for having us here today. We are too close to achieving health care reform to stop now. Achieving this will benefit all Americans. We have a rare opportunity to reshape health care in this country to provide primary care that prevents costly illness and coordinates care for different specialists and settings. Family physicians cannot understand why we would ever want to continue a health care system that reduces productivity, accelerates cost increases, and promotes inefficiency. Why would this status quo be acceptable to anyone? As a matter of fact, we produced a short video that's available on YouTube and other sites that chronicles the frustration of family physicians face in the current system. If we don't achieve a system that works for everybody, healthcare delivery in this country will deteriorate greatly. And this is why you see these organizations here representing over 450,000 physicians and medical students who are dissatisfied with our current system. Why that's enough doctors and medical students to fill every seat in Wrigley Field almost 11 times. Can you imagine <laughs> 11 Wrigley Fields full of doctors who demand health care reform? Without reform, millions of Americans will not be able to afford the normal, inexpensive preventive care that will save lives and money. Millions of other Americans will be denied coverage when they apply for health insurance because of their health status. Most businesses will be crushed by the weight of health insurance premiums that will either affect their bottom line or be passed on to their workers in reduced wages. Our current system is fragmented, it's uncoordinated, duplicative, needless expense for health care. Family physicians and our other medical colleagues are here to help, to roll up our sleeves and provide the care that everyone in the United States deserves. Let's do this now. Thank you.